We're here in Fort Collins, Colorado, painting two murals on one new development here in downtown. This is a subsidized housing complex with apartments and studios. Here in downtown Fort Collins, I was brought to you by the DDA, which is the Downtown Development and the Housing Catalyst. Two organizations in Fort Collins that are working together to bring subsidized housing to downtown. It was a nationwide, international call, and a lot of work went into just getting to the wall and getting to be able to paint this wall. So I wanted to take you guys along that journey and kind of share with you what that process looked like and coincidentally Kipto who's another artist fellow artist on YouTube made a video kind of articulating and sharing what this whole process looks like and um, I just thought I'd let you tell the story because we had a lot of the same experience and um, he made a video and I was watching it like man that happened to me that happened to me that happened to me and so it just makes so much sense to just kind of tag along with his video so let's check it out A little city in Oklahoma named Enid was looking for a mural artist to transform this boring wall into a magical work of art for their newly developed skate park. They published an RFQ, which is a request for qualifications, describing their project and seeking qualified candidates. Well, I'm pretty qualified. I sent in my work and professional experience and said just how qualified I really am. Don't be afraid to sell yourself. A little while later, I got an email back saying I was a top five finalist that would need to present a concept drawing over Zoom in a couple weeks. Here's the first difference. They did select the top five, they did select finalists, but instead of doing it on Zoom, everyone had to fly to Fort Collins to present to a panel in person. Now I had to draw up my concept art and show them, for real this time, that I was indeed the artist they were looking for. I spent a week researching and drawing and planning out my design, concept, and color palette. I knew if I put my all into this, I would have a really good chance. After all, this was the biggest budget mural I had ever applied for. Big step in my professional career. And I was determined to win. It's presentation day. I had just finished putting on the final touches of another mural at Venice Beach and was really trying to hurry up to take final photos. I had lots of deadlines coming in. I checked the time and realized I was cutting it a little too close. Rushed back home and jumped right on the Zoom call. All five finalists were presenting back to back. I was fourth in line to present and jumped in halfway through the third presentation. So presentation day for me looked a little bit different. Fort Collins is about an hour away from Denver. So me being in Albuquerque, New Mexico, took an hour flight to Denver and then rented a car, drove an hour to Fort Collins. Flight was around 10, got to Fort Collins around noonish, explored downtown, went and visited the wall, got myself acclimated with the space and uh, my interview was at three. I was fourth in line, but unlike the Zoom call, I didn't see who was in front of me. I think they had spaced out the gap in between the third person and my interview. I wrote some things down in my notebook, had my whole like presentation kind of outlined about what I wanted to say. And during my interview, continuously like check back with my notes. And in hindsight, probably would have done it a little bit differently because I did have a notebook and then I was just going off my website photos, but I probably would have just made a actual presentation on like Photoshop or make it made a PDF or a PowerPoint presentation and not just using the internet to navigate my website and then talk about the images from there. And Whew. Just made it. And before I knew it, I was up to bed. Hey guys, my name is Kip Tall. I'm an artist from here in Southern California. I nailed my presentation and was feeling really good about it. Okay, awesome. That was great. Thank you so much, Kip Tall. I had this one. Right up until I saw the last presenter. Wow. Um, this is amazing. I thought I was done for. Uh, it's over. Nah, that is real. So, like I said, I went forth and um, there's one more after me. The interviews were in this plaza in downtown Fort Collins. So here's the map. The interviews are right here. And after my interview is over, um, we're just talking a little bit and there's a panel and I asked the panel where are some places I should go eat. One of the guys on the panel is actually saying, oh, I'm actually biased because I own one of the restaurants. And the restaurant is actually right across the plaza. The other panelists were saying, yeah, that's a good spot. Go, go check it out. So I was like, all right, it's right here. Might as well. I walk out, walk down the stairs, walk across the plaza. I'm looking for the entrance, walk down here and then walk around right to the entrance of the restaurant. And lo and behold, I see Detour sitting on his computer with his hat, his iconic hat on his laptop. 
And um, at this point, we've never met each other. I've been following him on social media for some time. And so I introduced myself. Yeah, I'm like, hey, I'm Noah. You probably have no idea who I am, but I really love your work. And um, he's like, oh, sick. Yeah, I've actually seen your work too. Blah, blah, blah. We're chopping it up for a little bit. I told him I just had my interview and I assumed that's why he was here as well. Sure enough, he was sitting on his laptop going over his proposal, going over his design. Showed me his design. I showed him mine, but um, he was showing everything that he had planned. And I was like, in the back of my mind, like, dang. I just wasted my time, I wasted my money. So they did pay us to fly to Fort Collins, but it was only um, like 350, I believe. And I didn't cover the flight and the rental car and really the whole day that I lost. It's in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, I wasted this whole day. Plus the fact that he's based in Colorado, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get this. But I chopped it up for a little bit before he had to go to his presentation. He was actually kind enough to let me go to his studio after his presentation. So I went to go eat, he did his presentation and then we linked up at his studio later that night. He said his presentation went well. You know, I was like, oh, that's a nail in the coffin. Yeah, I flew home that same day. So I flew in, interviewed, flew home, didn't think anything of it. I was like, I texted like some of my friends, texted my mom, like, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be it. Presentation was so good. There's no way. Chalked it up as a learning experience and moved on. But little did I know, a couple weeks later, all that effort I put into my drawing would truly pay off. This is Christy Northcutt calling you from the Public Art Commission of Enid. First of all, I want to say congratulations. You have been selected as an artist to do the Enid State Park mural. Got the job. So three days later, that same week on Thursday, I got a call. They said they were gonna go with me. And I was I was frankly shocked, very shocked. But yeah, they I got selected and then it's time to have some fun. Fort Collins, here we come. Let's get to work. Feel it's my time, think it's my hand ready 
I used to hold myself bad, my self esteem damn bad. I gotta keep on chugging. Ran through everything in front of me, might smoke bad in heaven. Got a whole agenda. Can't aspire to get ahead, so bump that. It's no surrender. Got a dollar flipped up. I'm trying to get it an FT to get them when they're hand and crypto. Learn how to fix that. I don't really hold out of books, but I'ma learn how to fix that. Some opportunities are never come unless you pay attention. So no, I can't miss that. Moving. MVP, I got the record. I might have to pro something. Big jump, but worthy. They gon' have to retire my jersey early. Whole crew coming. Had to work something, cause I had nothing in my pocket. Yeah, I did all that. Big plans. Partners trying to make profits. Yeah, I did all that. Work, sweat, and tears breaking. Even no ends. Yeah, I did all that. Had to make it happen. Put now was in my practice. I did it all that. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Huh. Young veteran, living legend, but I'm better than them. This is my shit. I'ma check it like let them in. Y'all but not let them in. They gon' rotate this so I keep the pedaling. Started a chain, the cycle is heaven. Send this is from God, but I'm not your reverend. Not in the pulpit. I'm a big pull in this element, yeah. Said you gon' pull up, then settle it, yeah. I've been married to the hustle. This is my ring. Watch out, step in it, yeah. And I ain't even got a yard, but I'ma get it here. Watch out, touch down. Pulling plans out the clutch. Everybody getting crushed. The clutch down is for us now. Have to work something, cause I had nothing in my pocket. Yeah, I did all that. Think it's my
All right, let me uh, give you guys a little update. Today is Labor Day. I got here on Wednesday, couldn't paint Wednesday, couldn't paint Thursday, ran into a lot of issues with the lift, couldn't find a lift, and, it, and then found a lift and it wouldn't fit in that alleyway, which was all day Thursday, pretty much wasted Friday. The lift up music now got delivered around noon. Um, I was able to use some of the construction guys lift Friday morning, then had to transfer all my stuff Friday afternoon to the lift that I would be using. So that's the lift I've been using since. So pretty much Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I finish this wall did a little bit of touch-ups today problem is that the other wall is not done so I'll, I'll show you guys a video there's um, some scaffolding that's still covering the wall and they have to do some like touch-ups on it today is Monday this wall took me three days and the construction crew is off today because it's Labor Day and I'm not sure if they'll be able to fix all the issues tomorrow on Tuesday dilemma lies in the fact that there's a like reception on Friday at 3 30 so if I don't start painting Tuesday then Wednesday Thursday and half of Friday, I would have to finish that other wall. Potentially stop us from finishing on time, but uh, we'll cross that bridge if we get there. Just do as much as possible and pray that they get that situated. If we can get up there around noon, start working, I think we'll be, be solid as far as time goes. Got my bearings a little bit, scale wise, color wise, know what things I need to focus on. I spent way too much time on certain sections that are not the focal point for this wall. So I'll know going forward on the next one, like don't need to sit here at all, just put the color down, make it look decent, because um, the eye isn't gonna be looking there anyway. So um, picked up on all that stuff, which will make this one go a little bit faster. But um, yeah, don't have much more to do today. So I might drive down to Denver, go up to Wyoming or something. Still haven't decided, but yeah, that's a little update and I'll see you guys soon, later.
Before we go, I wanted to talk a little bit about the inspiration behind these this design. The designs feature flowers. So we have flowers in the background, full floral. There's a light source on the top and bottom of the design respectively. And in the designs, the hands are reaching towards the light source. And if you look at both together, if they were in a line, then they would be reaching towards each other and the light would be in that middle ground. And the middle ground, the, the light essentially is that beautiful place where I think we need to operate. On one hand, we have the hand reaching up and then the other, you have the hand reaching down. Also, it's the same image used in both designs, and that's just meant to illustrate that at any moment you can be the person needing a hand and you can be the person who's lending a hand. Circumstances could change in the blink of an eye, and it's not so much what you do or think decisions you make, just sometimes things are out of your control and sometimes you need help, and other times you can be blessed enough to be the one to, to give help. And personally, I would say it's more uh, difficult to be the one asking for help and um that's just that's just me personally but yeah that's kind of the the gist of it um reaching towards the light reaching towards that middle ground that conversation in a society so polarized i think that's i think that's a special place there's a light spectrum on the border just another touch that i use in all of my work and that's uh what these are about i applied sherwin williams anti-graffiti coating a full uv protective layer i'm happy with how it turned out these are some of my favorite walls that i've done to date hopefully we can take everything that we learned here and apply it and continue to grow to bigger and more impactful projects not sure what else to say that's going to do it for this video hope you enjoyed it here's to another year of creating god willing and um, i'll see you in the next one peace